from the self-proclaimed People's Republic of Donetsk, where war can be heard and felt. Our special envoy to Ukraine, Alejandro Kirk, brings more information. What becomes apparent just crossing the border between Russia and the People's Republic of Donetsk is that here you live the situation of war. The military is all over the place. You see tanks, you see uh, personal um, armored carriers, you see cannons, and you hear the roar of cannons somewhere um, at, at a medium distance from here. Uh, the option of not, of not winning this war is not there uh, on the table. Um, people are determined to win this war because they feel here, uh, as much as in Russia, but probably more evident here that uh, their very existence is at stake. That uh, is what uh, the message we got just now from uh, Alexander Borodai, the first prime minister of Donetsk and a hero of this republic and now a deputy to the Russian Duma. Look, the future of Donbass is absolutely certain for me and I have been talking about it for eight years since 2014. Donbass is going to Russia and in fact it has already become part of Russia. I personally believe that already there should be no Ukrainian state. This state is first of all a terrorist state and secondly a Nazi state. I want to remind you that Nazism is not only hating the Jews, hating the Russians and deciding to destroy the Russians as a people. That is also Nazism. I want to tell you that the United States itself has not realized what they have done and what a trap they have walked into. Indeed, there were dictators, world leaders, economic leaders, but now their role in the world is crumbling. The role of the dollar as a world reserve currency no longer exists, and we have to understand that and the emergency of the other reserve currencies and other reserve currency powerful enough to compete with the dollar is not far off. Alexander Borodai, the first prime minister of Donetsk, speaking exclusively to Telesur.